Hi there, this is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, and I hope that you're having a great day. Hey, this particular video is going to be about talking and about what we do in speech therapy. Now, that's a loaded question because if you, if you ask 10 people with aphasia what they do in aphasia therapy, one person will say, well, we sing the whole time. Another person will say, well, we do flashcards. Another person will say, well, we do worksheets. Another person will say, well, we say words. Well, another person will say, you know, there are probably about 10 or 20 things that most traditional therapists do in the therapy room. And they don't really have a whole lot of bearing on talking. Now, I just got finished seeing a couple, and uh, we were stimulating language um, during the visit. And we had a visit, and uh, this gentleman was able to produce about 90 phrases, about 93 word phrases. 90, that's nine zero three word phrases. And what were we talking about? We were talking about what he had for lunch. He had a hamburger steak. Or we talked about what he likes to have for a snack. He loves chocolate ice cream. And we talked about what he does in the afternoon, watch a movie. So we talk about the functional things that he does. We don't, we don't waste any, we don't do anything with flashcards. We don't do anything with worksheets. Now, that's okay for cognitive work, and, and I'm not poo-pooing it at all. But this gentleman is really improving his talking. And the reason why he's improving his talking is because he is talking. He is saying phrases, and he is telling me about his world, and he's telling me about his routine, and he's telling me about his wife, he's telling me about his caregiver, and it's all germane, it's all related to his life and what he does and what he's doing and what he enjoys. Now, one of the things was that we, when we first started, he could only do one or two words. And those one or two words hardly came out clearly at all. Why is that? Well, it's because he has an apraxia. And an apraxia is a speaking difficulty where it's difficult to move the tongue and move the teeth and move the lips for the speech sounds that make up words. So in the beginning, we were saying one and two words, and man, it was hard to, to make out the words he was saying. But you know, after about six weeks, now he's saying words, and they're almost all of them are clear. There are a couple difficult sounds still, like the S, but his intelligibility or his speech clarity, almost anyone could understand what he's saying. And now he's saying three and four word phrases. So what do we do in speech therapy? What else would you do in speech therapy? You talk and you talk about what's important and you talk about what you're doing. You talk about your family. You talk about your routine. You talk about your wife, what she has to do, where she's going. You see? And so that's all very, very applied and directed to one's personal life and one's personal language. And that's why the people who work with the teaching of talking and the teaching of talking training, that's why they improve speaking. Because that's all they do at home now. They stimulate phrases all through the day. Whenever he wants to do anything, whenever he is doing anything, they're stimulating phrasing. Phrases and articulation is getting clearer, speech is getting more automatic, and so 
That's part of what we do with the teaching of talking. If you'd like some information about the teaching of talking, below this video is a link to the teachingoftalking.com. And our website is just about ready to be relaunched. We've brought it up to date. We've added a lot of new materials to it, a lot of educational things for you so that you'll learn more about aphasia. Because let's face it, there's not a whole lot of information out there. And the information that I provide is very simple. It's geared to anybody. It's not geared to the college student. It's not geared to the academic person. It's geared to just you and me, just a regular type of person. And you'll understand it because I wrote my book and I wrote the teaching of talking for normal people. Even therapists are learning it. I wrote it simply enough for normal people. In fact, when I sent it to a very famous speech-language pathologist at first, he wasn't sure if he wanted to read it. And I said, what's the problem? And he said, well, this book, it, it, it's, it's, it's not at a university level. You know, it's not at a professional level. And I said, well, guess what? It's not written for the professional. It's not written in the professional language. It's not written, you know, with research studies and all that kind of stuff. Why? Because I wanted to teach caregivers and normal people at home what they could do to help their loved one talk. And what does it take? It just takes somebody who's interested. It just takes somebody to talk to the other person, to ask questions to the other person. It doesn't require a lot of papers. You don't have to buy an iPad. You don't have to do all of that stuff. Now, all of that stuff is okay, but it's not necessarily okay for talking. The best thing for talking is talking between two people. So also down below this video is a link which will take you to a survey. And if you'd fill out that survey, just a couple of questions, if you'd like to speak with me, just fill out the survey and click on the link and uh, it'll be sent to me and I'll contact you to see if your loved one or if you, if you have aphasia, would be a good candidate for the teaching of talking method. So down below, click on the teaching of talking and that'll take you to our website. And then there's another link below that links to a questionnaire or a survey so that if you'd like to talk to me, just click on that. So those are the things we do in speech therapy. Do we sit around and sing? No. Do we do worksheets? No. Do we do flashcards? No. Well, what do you do then? We talk. This is Mark Edelman, speech-language pathologist, looking forward to meeting you, to helping you, and to teach you more about aphasia and how to help your loved one talk better. Bye-bye now.